I think I have our answer. We all know what the answer is to why schools have been locked down up to this point in so many places. Yes, I understand there's some fear, but the fear has been irrational and it has been stoked on purpose by a lot of people who do know better but view this as an opportunity for political benefit, keep people very frightened, and you can get them to do whatever you want. Uh, but occasionally you'll have a lib, and I'm not pretending this is a, a, we're going to be citing a lib here who is of high intellectual or, or ethical character and that anyone particularly listens to, but you'll have a lib with a platform who will say the quiet part out loud, who will just tell everybody what we kind of know is going on, but everyone else is smart enough not to say. And I bring you Hanoi Jane, Jane Fonda. Here she is telling you all what the left really thinks about this COVID moment in time. Play 25. We can stop fascism. We are at a point where we can, this is a crossroads, it's an existential crossroads, and and we are people who can help determine which way humanity goes. What a great gift. What a tremendous opportunity. We're just so lucky. We have to use it with every ounce of intelligence and courage uh, and wherewithal we have, because you're absolutely right. This is it. This is it. And... Um, You know, I just think um, COVID is God's gift to the left. <laughs> quote, COVID is God's gift to the left, end quote. It's not God's gift, but that's a whole other conversation. It's coming from somebody else. But yes, indeed, this is a crisis, and they are trying to leverage the crisis in every way they can to pursue things that really have nothing to do with it, but that they know they can get away with because... People are frightened. People want someone. They want to believe that there's someone out there who can protect them. And uh, they also will shout down their opponents. And people like me, who have been from the very beginning, just I, I have been asking questions about COVID. I was very concerned about it in the first couple of months. And I remain concerned about it, but I haven't been living in fear of it. I've traveled on airplanes. I've gone to states that were considered high risk. I lived in the highest risk state for the, for the worst spread of the disease and was a subway rider for most of the most of the period before the lockdown when it was just this virus was bouncing all over the place. But if you're look, if you're under if you're under 65, this is not something to be afraid of at all, at all. If you're over 65, it's something to take precautions against and be aware of the same way you do with seasonal flu. Now, this is worse if you're over 65 than seasonal flu, but it's very similar in terms of the precautions. And it's also similar in terms of the mindset that people should adopt, which is you do what you can. You can't you can't let it dominate your life. What the president said is absolutely true. You know, do not live in fear. But I don't know the left. The left wants you very much to live in fear. That is absolutely their plan. And uh, they think that that is something they can leverage. <laughs> Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.